This funny looking thing might look like something out of Oh Mr. Porter, but it's actually got quite an interesting history behind it. The South Eastern and Chatham Railway Manning Wardle No. 313 is a unique machine, being the smallest locomotive on the Southern Railway. A little locomotive with a fascinating history and bags of character. The story begins in 1876, when drawings were prepared at the Ashford Works of the Old South Eastern Railway for a class of six tiny 040 saddle tanks. These were intended for light shunting duties at places such as Ashford Works itself, Bricklayers Arms, Reading Yards, and at the harbours of Folkestone and Dover. While construction was authorised and the money was allocated, nothing actually happened and the project was shelved. In 1881, the situation at Folkestone Harbour was getting desperate and James Sterling was asked to provide a suitable locomotive in a hurry. So the cobwebs were blown off the 1876 drawings and an assessment was made of their suitability for current construction. The large dome that Mr Cudworth had found necessary only five years earlier was not in accordance with the Sterling family tradition, so a new domeless boiler was substituted. A few other minor changes were made and the drawings were passed for costing. The price quoted by the works was £870, the price for one-off construction having risen considerably from the 1876 price of £675 each quoted for the Cudworth engines. The South Eastern Railway Company decided that this price was unacceptable and instructed Sterling to purchase a suitable standard locomotive from an outside contractor. The Manning Wardle G-Class was chosen instead. The diminutive engine was obtained from Messrs Manning Wardle and Company in 1881 for £780. It was numbered 313, works number 767, and apart from a few repairs and being in the works a couple of times following derailment, after all it only weighed 17 tonnes, the engine worked pretty much without fault. But in 1918, number 313 was almost lost thanks to an incident with a cross-channel steamship. The SECR steamer Onward caught fire while in harbour that September, and innocent little 313 was rushed in to help pull wagons clear of the inferno. The firefighters were unable to prevent the fire spreading outside the ship, and the decision was quickly made to scuttle her alongside the quay. As Onward settled, she heeled away from the quay and the mooring wires began to snap one by one. It was at this stage that 313 literally became entangled in the proceedings as one of the broken wires ensnared the engine. As tension on the wire increased with the heavier list of the ship, it tightened, pulling the engine slowly towards the quayside. Luckily, the driver and fireman were able to cut the wire in the nick of time and prevent our story being cut short. The ship was refloated and lasted until 1948, though not in railway service. By the middle of 1919, the engine was on the Ashford scrap heap. It stayed there until 1925 and was then taken into the workshops, refurbished, equipped with a new smoke box and the rather ugly chimney. For a while, the engine was employed at Ashford, bearing the new number 225S. Two years later, it was sent to Meldon Quarry as a shunter where it remained until 1938 when it was sent to Eastley Works for boiler repairs. Sadly though, examination showed that 225S needed more than a few patches, resulting in its second and terminal acquaintance with the scrap heap. For more information on SECR 313 and other models for Train Simulator 2020, visit Caledonia Works online at www.caledoniaworks.com. And as always, thanks for watching.